y'all use your pto do not save your pto because you want to work if, the, if your company offer you pto use your pto the sun shines on all of my glory my flaws don't look so bad at all what was i so afraid of Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. So today we are here with a fresh vlog. If this is your first time here, please make sure to like and subscribe. But yes, today is Friday, you guys. I took the day off of work um, because I have a bunch of PTO that I need to use by the end of the year because it does not roll over. So I've just been taking days here and there. So I took off today. Um, it's maybe about 10 in the morning. I just left the nail shop. I've been trying to find a new nail shop since I moved somewhere that's closer to me. So I had tried this other place two times. Um, the first time I went, I just got a pedicure. Then I went before my birthday and got my nails done. I did not care for the nail tech who did my nails. She did not have a good attitude. My nails were okay. But as far as like customer service, if you don't have good customer service, I'm not spending no money with you. So yes, I told myself I was not going back. Luckily, there's so many nail shops in my neighborhood but I've been trying to find one that's good. So I found a wax lady out here and she was telling me some good nail shops to try. So I went in there, I was able to get seated right away. Overall, I think he did a decent job on my nails. Um, I don't know, I'm one of them people, like I don't usually like my nails right when I leave the nail shop. Like I gotta go home, wash my hands, do some stuff. You know, you gotta let them settle in a little bit. But overall, he did do a good job. I got some simple designs. So yeah, like I said, I just left there. Now I'm getting ready to run into TJ Maxx. Um, I have a new plant that came in the mail the other day, but I need a pot for it. So I'm gonna see if I can find a pot for that and to just browse to see like what they have. Um, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm heading your way. Okay.
<laughs> okay so today is saturday it is like 8 25 in the morning um i'm getting ready to go my auntie is speak she has a speaking engagement today so me and my mom are going to go support her so y'all probably heard the phone call my mama called me i'm riding with her and told me that she was on her way so i'm in here trying to finish getting ready like i didn't want to be dressed up but i wanted to like you know still put on something cute but i need to go shopping y'all I need to do two things. I need to either lose some weight or go shopping. Because a lot of my clothes, they're just not hitting how they used to hit. And it's like, I know I gained weight. And I don't mind all the weight that I gained. Um, but some of it needs to go. Um, and I need some new clothes to fit my new body. Because I'm getting a little thick. And I ain't had booty all my life. And I got a little booty and I like it. But it came accompanied with some other stuff. So, yes, I, I don't know. I put an outfit together. You know, just some jeans. Um, and have on these mules in this leather jacket. And I'm wearing this like what is this cow print clutch? I wanted to wear a little color, so I'm debating on if I wanted to wear the yellow jacket, but I just felt like I can't go wrong with the well, I thought my phone was in. I feel like I can't go wrong with like the the black also have these brown pants that I was considering putting on but it's too late to try them out I, feel black on this one. I think I'm gonna just do the black you can't go wrong with black I wanted some color but and I was trying to pick out some comfortable heels like I have some other cuter heels that I would prefer to wear with like this outfit but I'm going to be out all day. Oh, yeah, because after the speaking engagement, we're going out to eat for her birthday. Um, so I'm going to be out all day. So I didn't want to wear heels that were too uncomfortable. So I put these on because I know I can survive in these all day. And I'm hot. I'm sitting here rushing to get ready now to broke sweat. Let me grab some flats. My mom should be here any minute. It starts at 10 and we still have to drive about an hour to an hour and a half away. And we got to pick somebody else up. Um, oh, I did not put my glasses up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later or something. Bye. And so my title is, Do We Really Believe the Words That Are Coming Out of Our Mouth? Do you really believe the words that are coming out of your mouth? I don't know what comedian it was or whatever, but he always would say that. Do you really, do you, do you really believe the words that are coming out of my mouth? This is my story. It's from the beginning to now, because it's not over. God, it's from beginning to now. This is right now. God has so much more for me. In the name of Jesus, I believe it. He has so much more for me. Let me tell you guys what trust is. When I looked it up, trust is a firm belief in the reality, true ability or strength of, a hope or expectation, confidence, faith, fidelity, loyalty, allegiance, devotion, security, safety, assurance, haven, depend on, count on, and support. Sometimes the healing is painful. Every, every time the healing is painful. Mm. But we must trust God yes, yes. in the process. my vlog y'all i don't think i picked the camera up since last weekend it's thursday it's thursday evening at that i have not vlogged all week um but anyways just checking in it's maybe like almost six o'clock my friends are on their way over we are going to be having you know little girls tonight they actually came over tuesday night i did 
Taco Tuesday, and I had planned on vlogging and everything, but um, time just ran out on me. I had wanted to, I had work, I had to work first of all, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna try to cook, have everything prepared before they get here, and then I was hoping to have everything done before they got here. I could pick up the camera a little bit, vlog. Um, you know, it never happened, and yeah, I was finishing up cooking by the time they arrived, and then, you know, once they got here. We just started talking and, you know, enjoying our evening. So, I never really vlogged Tuesday. But, yeah, we had a good time. But Janae had to work. So, she was like, um, how about we do this again on Thursday? Today is a holiday, Veterans Day. So, she was off today. Um, so, she was like, let's do it again Thursday. So, yes, they're coming back today for part two. So, I was like, okay, I can vlog for real. Um, they're going to bring the food this time. So, I don't have to cook. So, right now, I'm just chilling, waiting. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't talk about it much but you guys i do offer merch i know i don't really talk about it as much but it does pop up on all of my videos i have a whole instagram page dedicated to my merch which i will leave across the screen but i have been working on some new designs um i feel like one of the reasons i don't talk about it much is because the way i was introduced to it it was just like uh what is it called because of my youtube channel um it was like a perk offer and so that's kind of how i got introduced to the website but i feel like for a while i really didn't take my merch seriously mainly because i feel like i didn't know what my brand was at the time but you know i told you guys like at the beginning of the year with my whole log journey i feel like that has really kind of propelled me into like really having a vision for my brand and so with all that being said i have been working on new merch um i'm right now i have on one of the bucket hats and so it's just lox lux lifestyle and by the time this video comes out the hat should be available i have some other designs i'm working on too but i'm still waiting to get my samples back first before i make the listings public and all of that good stuff but if you guys do want to support go grab you a hat um, I've never been a bucket hat wearer, but ever since I got this, I've been wearing it <laughs> ever since. I got it at the beginning of the week, and I've been wearing it all week. So, yes, it's really cute. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys before my friends get here. And I'll see y'all in a minute, or I'll see y'all later. I don't know. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Hey, you guys. So, I did all of that talking in the previous clip, and I still did not vlog that night. Um, but today is the next morning, and I'm just doing some cleaning around my house. Um, I took the day off again, and so, yeah, it's Friday morning, and I'm just doing some cleaning. Gonna wash some dishes, um, clean my kitchen, straighten up my living room, change my bedding. We did laundry this day. So, yes, this next segment is just like a little clean with me segment and so yes i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys when i get back on camera Buzz used to this race i'm feeling exposed but i can't hide no more i can't hide as the sun shines on all of my glory my flaws don't look so bad at all what was i so afraid of every part of me is a vision of a portrait of mona this every part of me is beautiful and i find i'm deceived i'm a work of art a masterpiece oh, 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 yeah. who is this i tried so long to
Hey y'all, today is Tuesday. Um, it's almost noon. So I have been having a really productive morning so far. Um, I'm working today per usual. So, you know, I've been doing like my work work and then I've also been working on some content for YouTube and Instagram. So yeah, that's basically what my morning has consisted of. But now it's lunch time. So I'm getting ready to make me some lunch. And I'm about to make me some noodles, y'all. I got me a pack of Top Ramen right here that I'm about to make. I know people like to act like they're too good to eat Top Ramen and noodles and stuff these days. But I still eat it. It's not like a regular daily thing. It's not like I'm eating noodles every day. But I do like to keep me a couple of packs in my cabinet um, for days like this where I just want to make something quick. But yeah, working from home, um, I like to have like easy things on hand especially for lunch i'm more of like a breakfast and dinner person i'll eat lunch but i prefer to have like a really good breakfast and a really good dinner and my lunch can be kind of whatever because i work from home it's easy to be cooking all day it's easy to be like okay i'm gonna make me a little something for breakfast i'm gonna make me a little something for lunch i'm gonna make me a little something for dinner and before you know it, you can cook three meals which is not a bad thing but i just don't want to spend my whole day cooking so i'm gonna do some noodles today um, I need some more easy daytime meals, honestly. Like when I worked in the office, I used to literally take a salad every day for lunch, you guys. And if I didn't take a salad, then I would go buy something. But for the most part, I would pack a salad every day for lunch. And it's to the point now where I don't want to say I hate salad, but if I don't have to eat a salad, I don't want to eat it. Overcooked too, too busy talking to the camera. Mm. 
look up and hot. So I usually just go sit in a room at my desk and eat, but I think I'm gonna take myself. Oh, it's dark, y'all. Sorry. I mean, come on. Oh, y'all can see me a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm about to uh, sit on the couch and watch some TV and take me a real lunch break. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've been watching, I've been catching up on, this glare on my glasses be killing me. <laughs> I've been catching up on The Shy. Um, it's one of them shows that I was never really interested in. And then earlier this year, maybe like in the summertime, I had started watching a couple episodes because I just needed something to watch. And then I stopped watching it for a while. And then I recently started watching it again and I just made it to season four and I'm like, a lot, a lot happened. I'm not going to say I really, really like the show, but it's one of them shows where once you get invested, you got to see how everything going to pan out. So I just started season four last night. So I think I'm about to watch an episode of that while I eat some lunch before I go finish off my work day. So I'll talk to y'all later. I feel really good today, okay? I don't know what it is, but I'm in a good mood. I feel like I look tired, but I feel really good today. Um, yes, I just finished up work. I was editing. I'm super excited. I'm working with some new brands. And so, yes, I just, I feel good, okay? I just want to put that out there. I feel good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's Wednesday. I took tomorrow and Friday off because I, I haven't mentioned it, I think, in these last couple of vlogs. I got PTO I got to use before the end of the year. And y'all, use your PTO. Do not save your PTO um, because you want to work. If, the, if your company offer you PTO, use your PTO. We used to have unlimited PTO. I miss those days, but they still give us a decent amount of PTO now. And I didn't realize how much I had accumulated because I'd be taking my days, but I didn't realize how many days I still had left. And they told us use them or lose them. So say less I'm gonna use them so I took off tomorrow and Friday I've been really I've been taking like last month I've been taking every Friday off and I'm off again next Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving so moral of the story use your PTO <laughs> um so yes I'm off so it's my Friday I don't really have plans for tomorrow or Friday I'm just off and I'll let the day do what it do um but Saturday is my well tomorrow's actually my cousin's birthday and then Saturday we're going on a wine tour so it's like a party bus i guess and it takes you to a certain amount of wineries it's like a five hour tour so yes we're doing that saturday which should be really fun um so i gotta get myself together i need to do these eyebrows child my eyebrows are so wild um i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do to my hair um i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear but yeah i'm rambling now uh probably getting ready to go make some, not dinner right now i think i'm about to make me up a cocktail and chill all right y'all <clears throat> i'm about to make a little drink um i don't know if you guys have ever had a henny rita so it's basically like a margarita except it's made with hennessy and tequila mm. um i've had them at like restaurants or at bars and stuff but last week I made one myself and it was really, really good. So I'm about to make some more of those right now. But I'm gonna have to tweak it because I don't have all the stuff that I used last weekend. But I'm gonna be using these really pretty glasses. I got these from, I can't remember if I got them from TJ Maxx or Ross. It was one of the stores, um, but they were super cute. So like I said, it's usually Hennessy and a tequila, but if you watched my phone on Instagram and watched one of my reels, we had tried this um, Tycoon. This is from E40 and it's a cognac. So Hennessy is a cognac. This one is good though. I don't really care for Hennessy like that, especially the regular one. The regular one gives me heartburn. I could do like uh, the privilege. Is that the one it's called? Hennessy, but just regular plain Hennessy. I can't really do it like that, but this is good. It tastes like Hennessy, but it's a little smoother than Hennessy. I like Douce too if I'm doing dark, but yes. So we have some of this and I was trying to use this. Um, and then I have also used some Patron with it last time and i used this watermelon puree mix and then i used some limeade but somebody drank it all um so luckily 
I went to Target earlier and while I was in Target, I seen this watermelon juice and we have been looking for this watermelon juice and we have not been able to find it at our grocery store. And so when I seen it at Target, I was like, oh, let me get some. So luckily I got this to mix. Um, I might use a little lime, not lime, I got some lemon juice, some lemon squeeze, it's not that much, but. And then I'm also going to do, do y'all prefer salt or sugar on your rim? I could do either or. Actually, I prefer salt around my rim. Like if I'm going out and having a drink made somewhere else. But when I made them, I mixed the salt and the sugar and it gave it a little sweet and salty thing. So I'm going to do that again tonight. So usually you can take like a lime squeeze and run it around the rim and then dip it in your salt or sugar. But I don't have that. So I'm going to use the uh, watermelon puree. Oop, I poured too much. I'm pour a little of that in the bowl. Is it focused? And then I'm going to just do the rim in that. Oops, that's too much. Why is it every time you try to film something, you be messing up? But when you just in here vibing, you get it right all the time. All right, so I mixed in some sugar and salt in here. I probably did not need that much. Hmm? And then I'ma just let that get oh get around the ring. So last time I put a little of this at the bottom of it, but since we're using watermelon juice, so that's probably gonna be all our watermelon flavor. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to take some of this lemon juice and put it at the bottom. Since we don't have no lime, no limeade. Then we're going to do one shot of the tequila. You can use the tequila of your choice. Then we're gonna do one shot <clears throat> of the cognac. And this is the tycoon. But you can use whatever kind of cognac you like. Um, so then last time I did like two shots of the limeade, but I'm gonna do two shots of the watermelon juice this time instead. juice is just good and it don't look as pretty as it was last time it's not as red um but i think i'm gonna just add a splash of this because this is a sweetener Help it out a little bit. Just a little bit of that. Give a little twirl. And I also have these like diamond shaped ice cubes. So I'm going to add one of those. These are so pretty. I only did one ice cube because I don't like my drinks too watered down. I feel like it's not as good Jeez. as the one I made this past weekend. I feel like the lime, the limeade makes a big difference, but it's still good. Hey you guys, it's Friday morning. It's a little after 10. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. <laughs> if I watch my vlog about uh, me wanting lock extensions, I still haven't made a decision on if I'm going to get them or not. Um, but I do have plans tomorrow. And, you know, I want to look good. I want to feel pretty. So, yes, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. But I want to do, like, a different style that I don't do all the time with my hair. Like, I have my, if you see my everyday lock hairstyles, 
I wear those hairstyles very often so I know I can do one of those and pull something together but I want to do something a little different so I'm looking through my hair bucket I know I don't want to wear a wig um yeah I definitely don't want to wear a wig I was thinking about doing some bantu knots I was looking at some of my pictures and I did a look here on my channel and I posted some pictures last year and I did like bantu knots with the um marley hair and I those are some of my favorite pictures of myself I love I just love the whole look. So I'm thinking about maybe doing some Bantu knots. The only thing with the Bantu knots, I'm like, ugh, am I going to sleep on those tonight? Um, and so, yeah, I have to see how much Marley hair I have, too. If I don't do the Bantu knots, I was thinking about doing maybe some chunky uh, faux locks real quick or some twist or something. I don't know. I just want something different. I'm trying to think of something that incorporates my lock. Oh, I have a lot of Marley hair. Tomorrow morning, I just want to wake up, shower, do my makeup, and that's all I have to worry about, <laughs> um, and get dressed. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear. All right, y'all. I'm about to put on my thinking cap, <laughs> get my creative juices going to see what kind of hairstyle I can come up with. All right. Let me see what I can come up with. I'm about to sit in the mirror, look at my hair. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Alright you guys, so it is Saturday morning, it is 9.50 and I'm getting ready to head out to my cousins um, for her birthday. Well first of all, let's talk about my hair. This is what I came up with. So I think I told y'all I was going to do like Bantu knots and then I got inspired and I did record some of it because this hairstyle wasn't planned. It's not like a full tutorial. Well, it's not like a usual tutorial of mine, um, but uh, I did film the process. So I am going to put together some kind of tutorial for you guys, but I think it came out really cute um, as far as my outfit. I just have on like this satin blouse i wore this shirt on my birthday when i went to dinner for my birthday i love me a nice white blouse i have many of them i think a nice white t-shirts blouses tank tops anything i feel like they always make you look really sleek and clean so whenever i want a ba ba boom i want to feel really put together and polished i love going for a white blouse so yes this blouse is from zara i have on these like satin pants <sighs> This is my second time wearing these pants. It's a, actually a set, so it has a matching top. But I decided to do the white today to mix it up. And I feel like it looks cute, but I don't know. You know when you wear something one time, it's really cute. And then once you wash it, it gets really weird. I don't know if it fit like this the first time I wore it because it's been a while. But I feel like it fits kind of weird in the crotch area. Like, it's just really long. But it's working. And then I just have on some slides. I was going to wear heels, but... I don't know I feel like just being really casual and comfortable especially because it's gonna be a long day I think we're gonna go to three different wineries um, over the course of five hours I just want to be comfortable with flats and then I'm just going to wear this like woven purse and then I'll probably just bring like a denim jacket and that is it so like I said it's almost 10 o'clock i'm about to call misha see if she's ready so yes i just want to come and show you guys my outfit show you guys my look i i feel really cute i love the hairstyle the outfit i'm giving real rich auntie vibes right now and i love it <laughs> um but i will check in with you guys when we make it and get settled in and start having some fun happy birthday Who minds? No. Huh? No. Uh oh. She would. She would have been stressed out. Oh, on the bus. Uh huh. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's 
important. Yeah. It is. What, I got a piece of here? <laughs> 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 she teaching him the song. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 